defensive player for most of the year last year, taking on an offensive role. We, tonight was going really well. Yeah, he was uh, he was excellent tonight. Really strong, and fast out there, and you know, Timmy's always willing to take pucks to the net and get to the net himself. So, um, and he's played a lot more minutes. Obviously, that's uh, you know we didn't play the fourth line a ton tonight, so he got a lot more minutes. But he's the type of guy that can handle. It. He's so big and strong, and he's a powerful skater. So uh, it was a good game for Timmy. But he was a defensive role player in, in college. I mean, how, how do you make that trans transition to the pro level? Well, I think he had some offense to his game. He always did. Um, I think, you know, maybe, you know, it was a situation where he needed some opportunity to get more offensive role. And, you know, I, I can remember it like yesterday, you know, when he first broke in the league last year, you know, he really struggled. The first month and a half, uh, two months of the, se of the season, you know, was spending a lot of time in his own zone and, uh, you know, learning how to penalty kill and learning how to do a lot of different things. But I think Timmy's got a real heavy shot and he's willing to go to the net. You're, if you do those two things and you're strong and you're stick, you're going to have the opportunity to score goals at this level. And he's shown he can do that. Scoring that first goal tonight so quick in the game, how important was that for the team, you know, knowing you needed to have a better start tonight? Well, you know, that was a big emphasis for, for our group uh, over the course of the week here is, you know, just as poor as some of our starts have been recently. We wanted to get out quickly, and, and that was huge. You know, just give us some confidence, and then uh, to score again and get the second one. You know, it, it builds your confidence up. And I felt like um, our response was good when we got scored on tonight, just in terms of how we came back right away. And uh, you know, we didn't play uh, timid. I didn't think. I thought we we still tried to play the same uh, same way. So that was encouraging. You guys took five penalties in the second period. What did you guys change going into the third period to keep this play up? Did you see the five penalties in the second period? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need to change anything. Coach, what does this win do for your team during a month where you guys have struggled? Well, you know, it, it should build confidence in the fact that, you know, you're playing against the top team in the league. And, and quite honestly, I thought we played play better against them last time. Uh, last time they were here, so and, and we didn't get the result. But um, good for our confidence, good for our group. You know, we're, we're building, and, and you can tell. Even tonight, uh, we're still really young in the back end, in our goaltender and our defenseman, and, and we've got a lot of things we got to figure out back there. But as a group, um, going back to you know a lot of our games, we fight back, and, and that's really encouraging. You know, we we haven't given up. Uh, we've had some some lopsided affairs where we just keep plugging away and. Hamilton to come back and get that point and, and for our group to be that resilient uh, I think has shown a lot and, and hopefully we can continue to build up our confidence through games like this. Did it help to some extent though to get big saves from the car of uh, uh, at those big times? Huge and that's what Mackey does. I mean we saw it last year at the end of the year you know we were in that really bad stretch there at the end of the year trying to make a playoff push and just couldn't find the, the right ingredients to get a win and um, you know it, it Mackey down that stretch. I think we went eight and one in our last nine games. Um, you know, we were a good team, and, and he made us better by just giving us. It's not so much the saves; it's the key save at the right time. And he had the one on Jensen tonight when they when they started to push, uh, and he made a couple on the on the, their power play that were huge for us. So uh, timely saves sometimes are, are the most important. Seventeen goals over the last three games and five out of six points. So it's Nice to see the offense uh, clicking again. Yeah, I'm more worried about the defense. I mean, the offense, we're a team, you know, if you watch, obviously you guys do watch our games. You know, we don't need a, a ton of scoring chances to put the puck in the net because we've got a lot of guys that can do it. Um, we got to eliminate scoring chances against. And that comes from, one, you know, just our D making stronger plays out of the zone. Uh, getting it up in our forwards' hands quicker, and our, our forwards' commitment to coming back and helping out and supporting the puck well. Um, so, you know, we want to good teams that are good defensively win, and we've got to we got to find a way to be a lot better defensively at this point. Coach, you got two division opponents this weekend. How big would these four points be? It'd be really big, just in terms of you know you're talking about two of the hottest teams in the league. Adirondacks playing really good hockey right now. Uh, I don't know how they did tonight, but they uh, you know I think they won six or seven in a row here. It's it's going to be great for our confidence if we can go in there tomorrow night and, and be in a good hockey game and, and show that we're making strides to being the team that we want to become. I know you said you thought you played better against Utica the last time out, but 
Is there something to be said from being able to pull out a win against a team like this when you don't feel like you're playing your best tackle? Absolutely. Um, you know, and, and again, I, I think, uh, I mean, we've been on the other side of it too many times, but we got up early. So that opened their game up because you could see how they activated their defensemen. And, and they do a good job with that. They really put you to the test. Um, so, you know, that was really big for us to, to get out early, make sure we had a good start, and then uh, be able to close the game out was it was huge for us. Joel again made I thought he made two really nice plays on the penalty kill to just pick guys' pockets, especially yeah. deep in your zone the one time on. He's as good as it gets in terms of keeping plays alive. You know, like you, you'll think the play's over and all of a sudden it's back on his tape. And, and that that's both offensively and defensively. You know, I, how many times have we seen uh, the opposing defenseman, they think they're breaking the puck out, sorry about that, and all of a sudden he catches them from behind, lifts the stick, and all of a sudden, oh, we're back on defense again. And that's, that's where he's a, he's a really good pickpocket, and he extends plays really well, and then he's got the vision to find guys away from the puck, um, and, and it's, it's an uncanny, uncanny ability that he has. Those hands, have you ever seen a, a player at, at this stage maybe in his career with hands like he has? I have not. Some of the plays that he made at the play that he made in the Hamilton last game was as good a play as, as I've ever seen offensively, just in a puck protection down low, toe drag, back door, um, Pesic, you know, put it into the goalie's pad and then shot over the net, but it was as good an offensive play you're going to see. But his 200-foot game has been incredible. very consistent. Incredible. He's so competitive. I mean, you can just see his confidence, the difference from last year to this year, and how much it means to him. You know, he's really taken the team and. Um, he, he feels it's his responsibility, and I mean, you guys know he, he wasn't uh, he wasn't a penalty killer when he got here. He's earned the opportunity to do that, and he takes a lot of pride. In it. He doesn't like getting scored on. He's got a great stick, and when he hits his tape, it goes 200 feet. It's not like he's always trying to go down and score. Um, he'll go down and board check it, and then how many times has he gotten the clear? And then 20 seconds later, he's off the ice surface. So uh, he plays the right way. Seems like he. And if he keeps this up, he's going to be putting big pressure on Tim Murray. No, no question. I'm sure that that's already. Uh, he's Tim's been down to see him a bunch of times, but for Joel, it's just you know we we talk to him about this all the time. Just be here, play here, play the way you're playing right now. Continue to be a force at this level. When it when it happens, it's going to happen. Um, he's obviously putting his best foot forward in order for that to happen sooner rather than later. But right now, he's just got to focus on being here. Thanks.